Say when. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> Morning, everyone. Hope you're having a a good day. It's uh, not as cold as it was yesterday, so maybe uh, getting a little warmer for you. Um, here's a little amusing story. There was a an older couple had been married for 60 years, and they were attending the wedding of their granddaughter. And uh, somebody asked them, what's the secret to a good marriage? And the wife said, the secret to a good marriage is just three words. You're probably right. And they turned to the husband and said, what do you think? And he said three words. She's probably right. Well, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about uh, ordinary time. You know, that's one of the seasons of our church year, and we just began it uh, last Monday. Ordinary time is the, it's the green time. And uh, we are in that ordinary time from last Monday to March 1st, uh, which is the day before Ash Wednesday. That's 50 days. And then we will pick up ordinary time again um, on uh, June 6th, which is the day after Pentecost. And we'll be in ordinary time again for uh, until November 27th, which is uh, 163 days. So the total of ordinary time this year is 213 days. Now you compare that to uh, Christmas, which was only 15 days, or Lent, which is 40 days, or Easter, which is 50 days. So by far, the, the largest season of our church year is the season of ordinary time. And uh, that's the challenge. You know, you can find Christ in Christmas and you can find Christ at Easter. But the challenge is, can you find Christ uh, on a Wednesday morning in June? Can you find Christ in, in the everyday uh, parts of your life? That is the real challenge. And, and I guess I could capsulize ordinary time with this little story. Um, there was a, a, a legend uh, that someone came to this little town and said to them, uh, the living God walks among you. And that changed everything because people began to uh, treat each other in a different way. They began to treat each other with respect and reverence because they thought to themselves, uh, is the living God here at the market where I'm shopping? Is the living God next to me where I work? Um, just where is the living God? And, and it changed everything. And it would change everything for us because that's what ordinary time says. The living God walks among us. And what a different world we would live in if we all uh, believed that, especially as, as Christians and Catholics. Um, we treat each other so differently. It wouldn't be so much anger, so much cynicism, so much despair, so much division. Uh, because that's what ordinary time says, that God walks among us in the everyday ordinary events and people of our lives. So that's our, our mission now for the next uh, days till we hit, hit Lent to try to try to see God's presence in, in uh, uh, everyday life and everyday people, especially our families especially the people we have difficulty with. Okay, well, I wish you all a good day and uh, see you at the next reflection. Thank you.